so hello hello everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel we are here for february's messages i'm going to be using my vice versa tarot and my shadowscape tarot to get some insights for you and the energies for this month um please keep in mind if it doesn't resonate for whatever reason you can watch your other placements sun moon rising venus jupiter north node whatever it is that um may resonate more with you depending on where your alignment is also i always recommend watching each of the 12 signs and seeing how the energies may pertain to the house in which that sign rules for you in your birth chart okay it'll give you some additional interesting insight to view them that way also there is going to be a separate video called Ophiuchus <laughs> for guidance. Okay, so each of the signs can have guidance moving forward. That will be in a separate video. So I hope you check it out after you're through with this one. All right, so without further ado, thank you for joining. Drop a like, leave comments, let me know if they resonate, and we are going to get right into your message. All right, so Gemini, Gemini and energies. Here we go. Spirit, please. What insight do you have for my Geminis? My Gemini and energy for February. What is going on with Gemini and Gemini and energy for February? Queen of Wands is out. You're really focused, I'll tell you that. I've got the Four of Wands. What else? One more. We've got the Five of Swords reversed. And the Seven of Cups. Top of the deck is the Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. All right, with this energy gem, I feel like whatever energy you're holding it's too heavy okay and i think that you're looking to or have your eyes set on essentially a dawn okay i think you have your your will set your willpower set to either drop all the weight that you're carrying that is too heavy or you're thinking that you can make it. <laughs> like you think that you can make it. Like, ah, eh, the goal doesn't feel that far. But it's really fucking heavy. It's really heavy. Like, yeah, you might be able to get there. But it's heavy. And I think you are contemplating whether or not you should apologize and or forgive someone that you may be vilified. Like you may have vilified someone. The Queen of Wands here with the Four of Wands and the Five of Swords in the reverse. I feel like with this energy, because this phase, someone is standing over someone else like, ha, I've defeated you, you know what I mean? But in this, in this phase, they're watching someone walk away. And it's in the reverse. The four of wands here, the queen of wands has her eyes closed. So there may be someone who won't or doesn't see you or vice versa. It might be the other way around. Like you won't look at them. Um, I 
I'm not going to lie. I don't feel like the Queen of Wands is your energy. For me as a reader, like the Queen of Wands is very Sagittarian. And that's your polar opposite sign. I don't feel like it's your energy. I feel like it might need, I think it might need to be an energy you, you get into because it can also be your balance. Especially with the Four of Wands talking here, you might need to get into your Sagittarian energy and watch that reading. Because I feel like with the Five of Swords in the reverse, like you can't accept, like you can't accept that someone is walking away or someone has walked away, especially if they brought you a lot of joy. Especially if they brought you a lot of joy and or you talked about marriage with this person. You talked about building a life with this person. Life may have been very enjoyable with them in it. There definitely could have been family discussions, home discussions, like planning life together. Definitely could have talked about spending, even if you're like not into marriage, like it definitely can be this energy of planning to spend the rest of your life with someone. Like they were your forever person at one point. And I feel like you have such a hard time with the idea that they've walked away because to you in this face of the seven of cups, because in this face, there's so many options and none of them resonate. None of them resonate. And it's like a nightmare. Like, damn it. Like there's so many choices, but none of them, none of them are it. And yet in this face, the one option, the one that you want is not present. It's not in a cup. And I think like even with the two of wands, like this little orb that he's holding or levitating in his hand, like it's similar to the orb here. Like I feel like what you want, the dawn, right? The dawn that you want, um, you may need to apologize for because you seriously may have villainized them. And they were just being really honest and true to their heart space. They may have reinvented themselves. Uh, definitely left you feeling hurt, you know, definitely left you feeling hurt. Justice is under that. Libra and energy. The Ten of Coins is under that. The Ace of Swords is under that. Like, I feel like whatever is going on right now, if there's someone's energy who's eluding you, if their eyes are closed to you and they brought a lot of joy and peace and ease and stability, spiritual energetic stability to your life. They weren't creating stress, right? They were the relief from stress. They weren't trying to do things or doing things to make your life more difficult, right? They were doing things to make your life easier. I think that if you had an energy like this in your life that walked away and you can't get over the fact that it's gone. I think the lesson is coming from your need to put the soul burdens down, like the crosses that you bear from other people or past pain, like you're carrying too much. You're carrying too many wounds. You're carrying too many wounds. Clarify the Queen of Wands for me, please. Because you're feeling it. That Ten of Wands on the top of the deck, like, that's what you're feeling. You're feeling the burden. You're feeling tired. You're energetically, spiritually drained. You know, it's like you wake up in the morning and you know that you've slept. And you have enough physical energy to get through your day. 
but your spiritual energy i feel like all you want to do is shut the door and not come out you know what i mean it's that kind of energy it's like not wanting to deal it's this energy of, of not having enough energy to fucking deal and that's what's consciously being felt like actively being felt in february I think February is pushing you to a place of manifestation where you have to acknowledge um, what or who brought you ease, brought you peace, brought you joy, brought consideration to the table. Because I feel like it's your soul's desire and you've shut your own eyes to it. And yet it's like, you know, though, like, you know, that is the option or that is the person. Like, you're not ignorant to that fact that they are your light. Your saving grace, so to speak. Two of Wands, again, clarifying the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, the heart's desire, the soul's desire is definitely on pause. Again, looking off into the horizon type energy. Clarify the Four of Wands. The Queen of Cups. Yo, this Four of Wands person. This is a person. This is someone extremely nurturing. For me, the Queen of Cups is totally like Cancerian, Scorpionic energy. They may have very significant or strong Cancerian or Scorpionic placements. I mean, it could be Pisces, but for me, it's definitely more Cancerian in scorpionic because the queen of cups like her love is all or nothing she's all in like the queen of cups when it comes to love and nurturance compassion consideration she's all in this is someone who is like mother material partner material like they're the kind of parent you want for your children, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. They're the kind of parent you want for your children. Yeah, male or female, doesn't matter. But they're, they're, they're parent material. They're actual parent material. They're nurturing. They're partner material. Parent and partner, like they are that person. Clarify the five of swords and the seven of cups, please. Yeah, this is definitely someone that you planned on living with. That you probably should have bought a home with. That may have been on the table at one point. With the Ten of Pentacles clarifying that Five of Swords in the reverse. You cannot accept that that manifestation that life the house the family the joy you can't accept that the physical manifestation of that dream is gone you're having a really difficult time that the home is gone the caring nurturing partner who made your life easier considered you on all fronts is gone Really, for some females out there, like, this might definitely be a male who is really super kind, considerate, caring, cared about you and your kids if you got them. King of Swords, it could definitely be Aquarian energy and there's judgment here. So, I mean, you might, if you're not thinking about an Aquarius being your person and wanting to resurrect that because the judgment card is about resurrection like your soul your soul might be calling you like calling you to seriously resurrect some something with someone who has strong or significant aquarian placements aquarius jupiter like it could be a really strong or significant aquarian placement
And I think that until you see things from the higher perspective and allow yourself to resurrect it, allow yourself to make the call, because the judgment card in some decks is literally ca called the call. Um, like you've got to answer the calling. The acknowledgement that they are the light, that they are the only option. It's not a, it, like they should have never been made an option to begin with. Like they were the only one. <laughs> they were the only one. There was no option. They might have been made an option. The six of wands is on the bottom. The tower is on the top. Uh, there may have to be a serious reality shatter, but it will be a victory. The six of wands on the bottom, the tower on top. The tower is definitely everything being leveled, starting over um, completely. Like the reality as it is, is done. <laughs> the reality as it is, is done. And you need to go claim, claim the victory. Like put down the burdens that you're carrying. It's not your job to save other people. It's not your job to worry about anything else. It's like, you don't have to relive your parents' nightmares. With the judgment card there, like you don't have to relive the nightmare of your parents and the relationships that they've been through. Past or present. Sometimes our parents have multiple relationships and marriages and things like that. But that's what I'm feeling. Like their story is not your story. Your story is your story. I think you have someone who legit cared about you a lot and made life easier. Like it was a part of their mission to make your life easy, to bless you and any, any dependence that you have in your life. Because there's multiple family cards here. Yeah, gem. If you can't accept it's over. then you've got to drop the crosses you're bearing for other people. You've got to drop how you've obligated yourself energetically to other people, whether it's energy being given in the form of finances, it's energy being given in the form of presence, it's energy being given in the form of time, it's energy being given in the form of you know, consideration, maybe you have people living with you that shouldn't be living with you, whether they're roommates or kids that are full ass fucking grown, you know what I mean? Like, take it as it resonates, but I feel like you're carrying the obligation to, to, to spiritually take on, energetically take on too many burdens for other people that you don't need to take on. That could be literally in your reality, or it could be weighing heavy on your soul from past experiences where you are literally repeating the mistakes of past people. Mistakes that, like, people you never wanted to be. Like, maybe, maybe you grew up and you never wanted to be in the predicament your father was in, or you never wanted to be like your mother, or you never wanted to be in a relationship like theirs, and yet, that's what you're doing. You might be repeating an old cycle, new person, same cycle. And you had a serious glimpse of something different. And to be fair, it is dominating your reading and it is dominating your energy. Like if you, if you are not with this person, if you are not with this person, this person is the only person you actually want to be with. Despite any reality going on because if the tower's on top i feel like whatever reality you're in like this is something that you are completely consumed with spiritually energetically thinking about feeling about like what if you want love you want nurturance you want consideration you want peace you want kind 
you don't want the arguments, you don't want the fighting, you don't want to be volatile. You may have dealt with interference from other people, like someone else may have seriously, without you even realizing it, wedged ideas into someone else that created this fall apart. I will catch you in a fucus say. Later, Jim.